Welcome into our free agency tracker, Saints fans. My name is Trey Strahd. I have Abby Alonzo here with me riding shotgun. We're going to be interacting with y'all, breaking down any news, any rumors, anything that comes in around the New Orleans Saints, and we're going to break down the moves that have already happened. So Saints fans, I'm going to welcome in Abby Alonzo to join us. But before we get things started, I want everyone in the comment section, type in me if you're ready to talk Saints free agency. It is officially open. Free agency has officially begun. Teams can now negotiate with Lamar Jackson. Submit offer sheets. Things are getting crazy. It's time to get this thing going. So get in the comment section. Spam me. I'm going to get it rolling. I need everyone typing me in the comment section. We're going to give some shout outs. We got a lot of fun things cooked up for you. No segments today. We're just going to hang out, go through the free agency moves, go through what's been happening, go through what's going on, and we're going to have a good old time doing it. So we already got a super chat coming in from my guy, Hootie Joob. He said, Trizzy Trace, a bunch of eye emojis, a bunch of siren emojis. Y'all better hit up my guy, me and Hoodie, because this weekend, we're going to be talking. We're going to be talking a lot of Saints football. We, we're going to be doing some Twitter spaces, more than likely. We're going to be hanging out. It's going to be a good time. Courtney's saying, what's up, Abby? Abby, do you want to say hi to the people? What's good, Courtney? I haven't been on here in a little minute. Yeah, it's, it's been, been a while. I, I've made a couple uh, appearances, but I haven't actually been on the show, li a live show with mm -hmm. Trace in a minute. So Absolutely. I'm super excited, especially for free agency, because God only knows what, what's going to go down. Yeah, well, and Hoodie, and Hoodie Jew. Since you're the first super chat of the day and you're a real one, I'm going to go ahead and crack my first beer. And this is the Hoodie Jew beer. And we have some fun things to discuss. So keep the me's coming in the chat. Keep them rolling. Keep them going. Brandon Perry, me, st two stance fishing, me, a blank name is me, two stance, Cairo, Courtney, Jose, AFX Apocalypse, let's go, let's go. Hey, Hoodie, Hoodie, what's up, brother? Hoodie's hanging out. He's saying, my bad, Abby Alonzo too. What's up? <laughs> what's Jeez. up, Hoodie? All right, Courtney. Courtney's coming to hang out. We haven't even shown the Super Chat menu. We haven't even shown y'all what's going on, what we're offering for you guys today, and we're getting them rolling. So shout out, Courtney. Shout out, Hoodie Jube. That is my guy right there. <laughs> Courtney, I appreciate you. I'm going to give you a beer's cheers. All right, and then Interstellar saying, what's up, Trace? Two stands, let's go me. AFX, bro, I'm rooting for the Browns. IDK, what you're on, Father Trace. AFX, thanks for hanging out with us yesterday on the Seahawks stream. Thanks for hanging out with us on all the other streams. I know, you've, uh, I know you had a busy day of schoolwork yesterday, so thank you for tuning in. Are you in school right now, by the way? Because if you are and you're watching, that's sick. Yeah. No, that's, school it's, gets out hey, free. Hey, I thank you, Chase. Thank you, Chase. We've already got some super chats going, too, so we're trying to get this thing rolling. Courtney sends in the five-piece. Appreciate you guys. We're going to show you all the super chat menu here in just a second, but let me know. Where are you watching from? Where are you tuned in? This is a Houdat Nation. It ain't a Houdat City. It ain't a Houdat state it's a hoot at nation and in fact it's a hoot at worldwide so let us know where you tuned in from where you watching from where you ro repping the black and gold we're going to get into the free agency tracker here in just a moment but we want to get everyone in the chat we want to see what everyone's doing afx is in my basement i live in an apartment so i don't know how you got down in the basement minneapolis from swack i'm in online school from foamy austin texas from courtney he said his car Texas from Interstellar. We're out here in Dallas, Texas. Shout out uh, to, who said that they're in Texas? Shout out to Interstellar Otter. Saints fans, I am from Dallas. My homegirl, Abby, she is from the great state of Nola, Louisiana. Baby. She is a Nola bred through and through. She's a Saints fan, bleeds black and gold more than anybody I know. More than anyone I know. Trace and Abby, by far the best show out there. Appreciate you, two stands. Appreciate you. Montana, Germany, L.A., New Orleans, Indiana, who that from Daniel, Richmond, Virginia, Panama City, Kenneth saying, yeah, baby, Abby, <laughs> Kalamazoo. I can't believe that's a real place. Yeah. That's a crazy name. Michigan. I love that name. Kalamazoo, Michigan. I love it. I love it. Get Abby a Saints jersey to rock. We you have one. We have one in the insane. dressing room. I do not have a Saints jersey. I don't have any Saints gear in Dallas. And wow. 
Well, here's the thing. I worked in the Saints press box for like five years. When you work for the Saints, like on game day, you can't rock gear. You're mm -hmm. essentially like you can't. You're be you're or you're uh, you're biased. Yeah, you're an, so, uh, like, biased I could third wear party. Black. I could wear the colors, but I couldn't wear jerseys or anything that said like who like none of it. So I don't. My gear is like from when I was in like eighth grade, maybe. Yeah. Like my yeah. old. I have an old Fujita jersey. Yeah. A Graham jersey. A Breeze old Jimmy jersey. Graham jersey. A pink That's Breeze sick. Jersey. Yeah. That's sick. An old <laughs> no, Jimmy Graham I, I jersey. Know, it is sick. Kenneth I asking, how don't you have gear? Well, she had to. Mo she she couldn't I wear knew. her gear. Then she had to whenever she was working for the Saints. Now she moved down here. So it's just kind of hard for her to do that. John Borelli, the freaking legend, the guy who single handedly. Took us to the next stratosphere last week or two weeks ago when the Saints two, yeah. signed Derek Carr. I mean, that stream, I was getting pegged by tortillas. I, I don't know what happened. I don't really know what happened. But here's our Super Chat menu. $5 we're putting on beads. Any Super Chat you send in of any value, I'll give you a beers. Cheers. I'll get you up on screen. You can ask a question. You can interact with us. Do whatever you want. $10, I'm going to be taking some shots. $20, Derek Car Bombs. You heard of an Irish car bomb, but this is a Derek Car Bomb. So we're going to get oh a shot. God. We're going to get a beer. Drop it in there. Boom. It's a lot of fun. $50 plus. We're doing a beer. Uh, I'm doing a beer bong. Abby, she is not going to do a beer bong because she said, I got to do some other work later. So I was like, you know what? I got you. I got you. Unfortunately for me, I am the irresponsible one. Abby is the responsible one that here. So Trace has to drink for me. Somebody, ha yeah, Good somebody, luck. somebody's gonna have to. Somebody's gonna have to, you know, help me out here or help help out Abby and make me a drink because Abby's the responsible one. And honestly, it, punish me for being irresponsible. Punish me for that. So hoodie jube. Abby would look great in a hoodie juice Saints jersey. Hey man, if you send her one, who knows what'll happen? Who knows what could happen? Who? I would have to wear it. If you I would have to at that point. At that have point. To. All right. So an interesting. Oh, John Borelli, twenty dollars. We're gonna pop that up here, John. Give me one second to let the system update before we get to that. Ezekiel Elliott was re just released by the Dallas Cowboys officially. A few minutes ago, should the Saints go and sign Ezekiel Elliott? The Saints have a need at running back. Let us know. We're going to share our thoughts here in just a second, but let us know. Should they sign him or pass? We'll get some shout-outs to you all in just a second. But John Borelli, the man, the myth, the legend, my guy, John Borelli. He wants a Derek Carbomb. I'm going to grab my cup so I can do a Derek Carbomb. He says one for DC4. Give me six seconds. Abby, you want to give some shout-outs yeah. real quick? Got lots of so yeah, we just we we did just say Zeke was cut. Could he end up in New Orleans? I see people in here saying they'd rather Leonard Fournette. Well, Nightmare says they'd rather Leonard Fournette. Look, that would be a hometown boy, of course. Saints fans yeah, want yeah. hometown boys here. But is he the best option? And we are gonna dive into why maybe looking past guys like Zeke and Fournette might be a better option because there's a lot of talent out there specifically in the draft yeah i think that would be a better uh a like, better avenue to yeah. go yeah and and there is a lot of things to be talked about there's a lot of things to discuss i'm pouring up my shot right now give trade me one for second Eckler. trade Not for eckler's an option that's one i also have a list of free agent running backs i'm going to show here in just a second but let me let me uh take this real quickly yeah. let me take this real quick go this ahead, one's for dc4 and john borelli <laughs> I, I've done Irish car bombs. I didn't even think about a Derek car bomb. That's very inventive. Wow. What was what was it? It's Miller Lite. It's Miller Lite and green apple whiskey because we were out of Fireball. So what? it doesn't feel good. <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't taste great. Oh. But it's something. It's something. We've been live for quite literally 10 minutes, and Trace is doing... I'm doing Derek, Derek Carr bombs. bombs. It, it's, it's, it's getting out of hand. Uh. It's getting out of hand. All right, so in terms of free agent running backs, I did come up with this list of running backs the Saints could target in free agency right now. Ezekiel Elliott, just cut today. Jamal Williams, could they move on? It'll, things are starting to, see, or starting to seem like they might move on from Jamal Williams. Miles Sanders, he is an option. He's going to be an expensive one, but an option nonetheless. Alexander Mattinson last play, uh, Madison, excuse me, last played with the Minnesota Vikings. James Robinson, I think it's the most realistic option for the Saints. He's probably the cheapest and the most affordable 
but you still get good production, but it's not like it's super great. It's not super not. So this is just what we're kind of thinking of in terms of free agents that the Saints could go sign. There's, of course, a lot more that you could go and get. But then there's also extremely interesting options like a Jameer Gibbs, a Ty J. Spears, a B. John Robinson. Uh, what's the cat? Uh, 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 Zach Charbonnet, the cat out of UCLA. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of extremely interesting names that you could go get in the draft. But here's the five that you could go get as a free agent. But let me know, Saints fans. Name a free agent you want the Saints to sign. Name a free agent that you want the Saints to add this year. And while we, and before we, or after we get to that, I'm going to go through the uh, updated free agency tracker for the New Orleans Saints. Going to show y'all who all the Saints have brought back, who they have signed, all the moves, and then we can also get into the players that how they have recently lost. So, in the latest news, Vikings are re-signing Ben Elferson, El Elfson, and Kenny Willick. Yeah, people that doesn't affect the Saints fans. Welcome home, Jeremy. What about trading for Austin Eckler? That could be an option. I like that as an option. Madison, hands down, from SWAC. Bearded Dragon, I think D-tackle is a bigger need in free agency than drafting a running back for their young legs. I like that move. I really like that move, Bearded Dragon. And in terms of players that the Saints have actually signed today, we can get into, we can get into this. So here's the updated, all of the moves that the Saints have made. They signed Derek Carr to a four-year, $150 million deal, which is really a three-year, $100 million deal that you can get out after two years. The contract details are kind of confusing. You couldn't fit it on this graphic, so we just went four-year, $150 mil. Juwan Johnson, Mr. Reliable, thank you for coming back. Thank you for staying at home. Two years, $12 million deal. Can't wait to have him back. Tano Passanio. two years, $5 million deal. It's going to be exciting to have him back on the Saints defense. JT Gray, the special team's ace, the DB, three years, $9.6 million. It's nice to see the Saints finally invest in the special team's position, or the special team's ace position, not letting that guy walk. Jameis Winston, he's coming back as your quarterback, too. He had a one-year, $4 million deal, can get up to $8 million. Michael Thomas, one-year, $10 million deal. Nathan Shepard, so Michael Thomas is going to be back, and that's on a cheaper deal, which is awesome. Nathan yeah. Shepard and Kalen Saunders, those are your two moves that have been made today for the New Orleans Saints. Nathan Shepard, a three-year, $15 million deal. He's going to be a defensive tackle. He's a good – I know it says DE, but he's a defensive tackle. Good rotational piece. But then Kalen Saunders, wow. I mean, this guy is huge. This guy is massive. Super Bowl champion, just got done with the Chiefs. He is at six foot, 324 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's big. He's going to take up some space. He's going to take up a few blocks. Like, this is, this is a good move for the Saints. I'm very excited to have Kalen Saunders, especially considering there's literally not a defensive tackle on the depth chart outside of these two guys. Um, I think Kalen Saunders is a good move. I mean, you lost David on Yamada. You lose Shy Tuttle. I think it's a good move, Abby. I mean, like, what? 48 tackles, they're going to have sacks, three tackles for loss. That's not bad. That's pretty solid. And he, and talking to our guy, Harrison Graham, he does our Bears and our Chiefs coverage, he was telling me, he's like, man, that's, that's a sneaky good signing. That, that's one that can really help out your team. I want to address, uh, there's some comments in here, and it, this is a common theme in free agency. You're skeptical because you feel like your team is signing a depth guy. Like, why are you going to get a backup from another team? Yeah. That is a big part of free agency. Yeah. These teams let some of their depth players walk because they can't afford to keep them. It's not that they aren't good. It's just the way that things line up and fall into place. They can't afford to keep them. If you've got the guy who covers the Chiefs on the daily saying, hey, y'all grabbed one, y'all got, got a good, a good one. one, Yeah. trust it. So before you get uh, a little bit – Frustrated that I, yeah. the Saints are pulling depth guys and backups. Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. The agency it's okay. just started. It's going to be that fine. very common. There's the, a lot of moves left to be made. And to Abby's point, it just started. Literally. You still ago. have the rest of the offseason. You still have the draft. You have plenty of ways for the Saints to go and add depth at the uh, defensive tackle position. Also worth noting, I did see a video of Kalen Saunders doing uh, a backflip. Which is yeah. awesome. Dolphins are signing safety Deshaun Elliott. That's where that's interesting. Dolphins are making a move, signing Deshaun Elliott. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was Jamal Williams because I saw a Dolphins picture come up. 
Nathan Shepard, six foot four, three hundred fifteen pounds, a Canadian football player, thirty-three tackles, a sack and a half, four tackles for loss for the Saints last or for the Jets last year. And then in terms of players that the Saints have lost in free agency so far, here is the list that we have at the time of recording right now. You lost David Onyemata to the Falcons. Suck it, Atlanta. I hate you. You also lost Shai Tuttle to the Panthers. I hate you. This one hurts. Like this one really, yeah, really stings. Caden Ellis to the Falcons. Shout out Caden Ellis. What I'm gonna I have one thing to say. Shout out Caden Ellis because he got his bag. He deserved to get paid. What I will say is I don't think the Saints should have been paying seven million dollars a year plus or seven plus million dollars a year to bring in a backup linebacker. He was a luxury for the Saints. He was an extra guy. You still have Pete Warner on the linebacker depth chart. It sucks. I hate that we lost him, but it's okay. It happens. Damn. I wish him the best of luck, except for twice a year when we play them. Marcus Davenport is headed to Minnesota on a one-year $13 million deal. Uh, it's a good move for the Vikings. They need all the help they can get on the defensive line. Andy Dalton, your former quarterback, two that turned into quarterback one, is headed to Carolina on a two-year $10 million deal. Honest to God, y'all, I feel like Andy Dalton might actually have the best life in football, considering the fact that his only job the past few years has been find a new team, go be the backup quarterback, maybe you play a few games, and then you just get paid, and then you go to a new city. Like, he's, he's had a great career. And then Deontay Hardy this morning signing with the Buffalo Bills on a two-year $13.5 million deal. You love seeing the UDFAs making progress, making things um, – making things better. Uh, but also, guys, I want to just encourage y'all to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time hanging out with us, if this is your first time st seeing our stream, if this is the first time you've ever stopped by and watched one of our videos, please subscribe, join our channel, join our squad, because we're always talking Saints football. We're always talking free agency, trade, draft, whatever you want to talk about, Abby and I are on it for you. We always are trying to put out the best content as well. So if you guys don't mind, help us out. Hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 12,300 subscribers today, just today. We are at 12,213. We've picked up a few subs since this stream started, so shout out to you guys. But the job isn't done. So hit that sub button. I'm going to put it in sub-only chat, and if you are a subscriber, type me, and we'll give you some shout outs. So if you're a subscriber, type me. And we'll give you a shout out. Subscriber mode chat is, or sub, sub only mode is on. So here you go. Valerie Lynn, I'm a Raiders fan, but Derek Carr is my favorite player. So I sub to your channel so I can keep up with him. But I'm rooting for the Saints to do very well. Valerie, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for hanging out with us. We, have, we hope that the, the Raiders do well as well. I hope the Raiders do well. Oh, I'll, 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 I could say that. Solo, Seth, Mr. Leroy, Jerry, Courtney, other Cor Courtney with a K, Courtney with a C, both typing me. Kyle Robinson, he's a real one. I see him in all the comment sections. Jeremy Gates, Schemo, AFX Apocalypse says, unfortunately me. AFX, come on, man. You know you love the content. You know you love hanging out with us. Adam says, not me. Well, that's, that's not true because it is sub-only chat, so you are subscribed, my friend. You are subscribed. Romel Duran, you, uh, who just signed? So today, in terms of the Saints uh, moves today, they have signed Nathan Shepard and Kalen Saunders to a both to three-year meal, three-year meals, three-year deals. Goodness gracious. Nathan Shepard on a $15 million deal. Kalen Saunders on a $14.5 million deal. Really good moves for the Saints. So I appreciate you guys for asking about that. But keep on subscribing, keep on hitting that sub button, and keep on hanging out. Um, and also, if you want to get on the show, feel free to use hashtag Saints. Feel free to send a super chat. Feel free to do any of those things. We want to interact with you guys. We want to get you guys on the show, and we want to hang out with us. And if you're ready to keep talking ball, if you're ready to keep, if you're ready for the real fun to start, it says the real show. The real fun hasn't even begun yet. We still got what? What time is it? We still got 40 minutes of fun to have. So, like this video if you're ready to go. We have 200 people watching, 61 likes. I refuse to talk any more Saints football until we get to at least 75 likes. We need 13 likes. At 60, we have 62 now. I'm not talking any more Saints football until we get to 75 likes. I'm sorry, y'all. The bosses are in my ear saying we can't do it. I need y'all to go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon. Like the video if you love the Saints. Like the video if you want the Saints to make more moves. Like the video if, you know, you want to like the if you if you if you haven't. Like the video. Like the video if you haven't liked the video. That's what I'll say. Bergen, I see you. He's ignored your comment like three different times. I see you, dude. 
Oh, Bergen's in there. I didn't even see his comment. <laughs> Swear to God. That's my Trace roommate. Trace is talking a mile a minute, bro. A mile a minute. Take yeah. breath. I've okay. been breathing. I've been breathing. You got time. I've been breathing. No more <laughs> drinks for you, Trace. Here's the thing. I'm going to take another drink just because you said that. Just because you said that. Lord help me. Come on, people. Hit the thumbs up icon. We're at 100 likes. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. So... If you want to donate, if you want to help out, if you want to support the show, if you want to support Abby and I, please feel free to send in a super chat. We do have a super chat menu. And you can also follow us both on social media. We'll get to that here in just a second. But please feel free to support the show. Help us out here. Trace, if you throw in more tortilla slaps like last time, if we get a $100 super chat, I'll let Abby slap me with the tortilla. It's just, that, you know, it doesn't even matter. I, tortillas, I guess it's become a channel thing. I, I tried to make it not... But I guess it is a thing. So, $100 super chat. She can smack me across the face with a tortilla. Great. Bergen sent in a heart emoji. Love you, Rumi. Love you, pal. Um, yeah, $5. Oh, actually, we need to put on some beads. Shout Oops. out, big coach. I see you, Daryl. God, this is literally my uh, PE coach, softball coach from when I was like. Wait, who is it? Golly, what? I had to be 10, maybe? Daryl? From, yeah, from the age of, like, seven That's sick. To That's so 12. hype. That is so hype. He's awesome. I appreciate that, Coach. Oh. That's one thing I love about coaches. It doesn't matter how old how they are how or how old you are. It doesn't matter how long ago it was. They'll always still be coach. Yeah, They're always yeah. going to be coach. It's never going to be Mr. Romroy. It's going to be coach. Romero. It's always coach. <laughs> I know I said that wrong. That's all right. In fact, I said it wrong. Oh, well. Shut up, Siri. Siri's trying to shadow ban me right now. Father Trace, I love, I tore my rotator cuff. How? How did you, how did you, did you do that in the span of now to last night? Because if you did, I'm sorry, man. That sounds like it hurts a lot. Oh, yes. Totally worth seeing Abby slap him. Come on, folks. Bearded Dragon wants to see me get slapped. He wants to see me get slapped. $5 we're putting on some beads. $10. Shots, $20 Derek car bomb, $50 beer bong, $100 Abby can slap me. Um, who that nation, let us know. Let us know. Name a free agent that you want the Saints to go sign. There's still some quality players out there. Let us know who you want the Saints to go sign. Dope chain, appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this? I want the Saints to go get a run, or not a running back. I want the Saints to keep adding to defensive line. Uh, I would love the Saints to go and get, hold on, I actually have a list of uh, defensive tackles that the Saints could go, if go try and sign in free agency. So here is the list that we came up with right before the show. Sheldon Rankins, unfortunately, literally just signed with the Houston Texans, yeah. like r literally right before we went live. And then Ashawn Robinson, guy out of the Rams. I like him as an option. Fletcher Cox, expensive, but a great option. Great option. Puna Ford with the Seattle Seahawks. Matt Ioannidis. Also an option. He played with the uh, Panthers and with the Commanders. Could be in, uh, good options for you uh, for the Saints in free agency for the defensive tackle position. But keep letting us know. Let us know. Miles Sanders from Schemo. Uh, return a CD Deuce from J Rock. Dude, it would be so cool to get CJ Gardner Johnson back. I just don't think he <laughs> wants to come back. Like, you know, you saw him. Uh, what? Did he post, um, thank you, Philly? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't think that was him saying, like, I'm done here. I think that was a like a, a way to get them to pay him. Yeah. <laughs> I, it might have been, like, been a ploy. I'll walk. If you're not going to pay, might have been walk. a Yeah, it might have been a scheme. I don't – look, I would love to have him back. I don't think it happens. Yeah, here's the thing. I, I think C.J. Gardner-Johnson would be a lot of fun to have. I think the bridge has been burned, and not by the Saints, but by him. And I think that there's no reason that the Saints will try and go get him back because he wants to get paid. He wants that money. Um, the Saints just aren't. They didn't shell it out last offseason, so they're definitely not going to shell it out this right. offseason is what I think. But, hey, shout out Blue, Blue O Spray 7. Shout out to you. $10 should the Saints get Puna Ford. I like Puna Ford. I think, that's an op I think he's a solid option. Uh, in terms of his production last year, uh, he was able to rack up. Give me one second. I'm pulling up the stats. Puna Ford in it's loading. Sorry, y'all. In 17 games, uh, three sacks, 22 solo tackles, 35 total tackles, six tackles for a loss, seven QB hits. Those are options. I like the. I like that as an option for the Saints. I would like to see him go and get him on a cheaper deal if possible, considering 
He's still pretty young, drafted in 2018. Um, uh, side note, breaking news. Uh, the Commanders are signing Jacoby Brissett to a one-year deal. Boom. Worth up to $10 million and $8 million guaranteed. Washington gets a starting option for quarterback. God, God bless. The there Commanders. we go. There we go. That coming in from Jeremy Fowler just four minutes ago. So Jacoby Brissett, who I know this is a Saints show, but we might as well talk about We might about as well talk ball. Yeah, NFL. we got to talk I ball. I mean, you face these guys. I I think he is a solid quarterback. He did a, a good job in Cleveland while Deshaun Watson was out, I yes. think. He did a good job leading that team. There were a lot of other issues on the roster that were out of his control, but I think he stepped up, and mm -hmm. which would be exactly why the commanders just went out and got him hopefully, to be their QB1. Absolutely. So I do owe a shot for my guy, Blue. Oh, I, don't, I still don't. Blue Blue Prey. We're just going to call him Blue. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. Also, here in a second, we're going to do a game. We're going to do a fun game, and you guys are all going to love this game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cheers. Get a ball. Get a ball. Come in. Ooh. She has a bite. She bites back. She bites back. All right. So in terms of the game that we're going to play, we're going to play how many subs can we pick up right now. So we're trying to get to 12,300 subs. We are currently, this number is uh, not updated. We're currently at 12,217. I'm going to set a one-minute timer. We currently have, we currently have 230 people watching. For every new subscriber that we pick up in the next minute, I'm going to take a sip of beer. For every new subscriber we pick up in the next minute, I'm going to take a sip of beer. So we are currently at 12,217. I have to drink every time that somebody subs. So help us out. Subscribe today. I'm going to put the links in the chat. I'm going to put the links in the live chat. So that way you can just click on that. You can click the big red button. However you want to interact with us, however you want to subscribe. Join our squad because we're trying to put out news rumors, updates every single day. We're trying to put out the best content possible. So help us out. Subscribe today. Trace, you're going to become an alcoholic. I already graduated college. It's been done. It's been done. So, you know, there you go. Shiner, don't mind if I do, from Jeremy Gates. Long as the Panthers aren't signing wide receivers. So from Solo, should tight or should Saints should sign tight end Foster Moreau. Ah, I Foster. like that. So I Foster like that. went to Jesuit. Again, I'm from Nola, so yeah. I know this. Foster Help us went out. to Jesuit, actually dated a girl that I went to high school with. I went to Mount Carmel. Um, my brother went to Jesuit. I know we're, we're all in the same group. Foster, I think, would like to be in New Orleans. I don't know that it happened. <laughs> I think re-signing Juwan. Um, I, don't, I don't really know because wh where does the tight end conversation, where is that at right now? I mean, it's, one of, it, it's weird. So it's a need. But it's not a huge need because right. you have Juwan Johnson back. You have Taysom Hill, who's not really a tight end, but that's like the position he's in. Um, you, I mean. I See, I think his, his uh, presence is needed. Yeah. Elsewhere. I don't think he's necessarily needed in New Orleans. That'd be great. As always, we love to have hometown boys come home. And he would <laughs> love to play for the Saints. What's funny? What? It. it AFX asked, was your friend hot? <laughs> AFX, relax, dog. This was a few years ago. She's okay. she's older. She's too old for you anyway. now. She's too old for you now. Um, I'm not about to talk about Foster Moreau's girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. I shouldn't have even. Anyway, I don't think his presence is necessary on the Saints roster. I think he's needed in other places. I think uh, some other teams really need tight ends, and I think he could be better off in those positions, great. Yeah, if you can grab Foster, do it. Yeah. I don't think that they can. Absolutely. Or they will. I, I like Foster Moreau. I think he could be an option. Wow. What? Um, Abby, you're going to need to go get some tortillas. I didn't. You're going to need to get some tortillas. Because I just got a Venmo from our guy, John Borelli. Oh, my God. Give me one sec, guys. Let me, uh... <clears throat> We're going to get back to the football talk, I promise, but... Oh! John Borelli! Hundred dollar super chat! Bang! Let's go, John! Everyone...
Everyone get the JBs in the chat. Get the JBs in the chat because John Borelli just sent a $100 Venmo in. So that means I'm getting slapped with the tortilla and I have to do a shotgun or a, a freedom funnel or a beer bong or whatever it is. John Borelli, shout out the Raiders report. Shout out my main man, John. Shout out Mitchell Renz, who's coming on screen right now. He, oh my gosh, it's lit. It's lit. It's lit. Let's, hey, hold on. Hold on. Boom. Mitch, you, hey. Thanks, John. Thanks, brother. Just shout out John Borelli. Shout out John Borelli. $100 super chat. <laughs> Hey, that is electric. All right, John, we're going to get things started. We're going to get this party going. We're going to have us some fun. It's about to get crazy. It's about to get wild. So, latest move, Mike Jackson, exclusive rights tender by the Seahawks. Good for him. All right, so I'm going to need uh, – Abby, you, you get to slap me, un unfortunately for me. Yeah, I just uh, – we have tortillas. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, I'm just going to kill the rest of this beer in this beer bong because it's pretty much full. And you know what, John? Just because you're an absolute legend, keep the JBs in the chat going. Keep the JBs in the chat going. Romel, Mike T, or Willie T, excuse me. Mike T is on the team. Uh, Chris Freedom of God, all of them. Paul, all of them sending some fire emojis. I'm going to throw a little shot on top of it just... Because John's a legend. John's a legend. It's, 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 it's legendary stuff going on over here. We are trying to get crazy. We're trying to get lit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we can get to $200 in Super Chats, we, I mean, I'm going to have to put on the, the Saints mask. I'm going to have to put on the Saints wrestling mask that has been such a big hit on the stream. Y'all remember it. It's been such a hit. Football season, it went crazy. So if we get to $200, I think I have to just wear that the rest of the stream. I, I, think, we, I think it just has to happen, unfortunately. John Borelli, thank you so much for your $100 Venmo, bro. This one's for you. Shout out you. Y'all are telling me I have to slap him hard. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will yep. get it done. Yep. That'll do it. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right. So looks like John Borelli's plotting something because he said, how much did you say, Mr. Leroy? Mr. Leroy, are you and John Borelli trying to see what's going crazy? Y'all trying to get wild? Y'all trying to get lit? Here's a super chat menu for those of y'all trying to get crazy. It's about to get wild. We're out of tortillas, so I guess Abby's going to have to open palm slap me. That also... It was a Venmo. It was a Venmo. Yeah, it was a Venmo. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, that would work. Yeah, all right, so Brett, so boss man Brett, the legend, he's going to go get a plate for the Venmo, or for the $100 super chat. Excuse me, $100 Venmo, excuse me. Um, I'm trying to pick a graphic to go to. While he's doing this, I y'all have so many good questions, and we want to get to them. Use hashtag. Use hashtag Saints so yes. that we can see them because. They'll get lost in the chat, and I've seen questions from Aaron Rodgers to needs for the Saints, like all kinds of stuff that we would love to talk about, but use hashtag Saints so that we're able to filter the question and actually answer it. Because, again, there's been like 12 that I wanted to answer we just haven't gotten to, and I exactly. lost them, so. and, and like our guy Romel, he used hashtag Saints. He put in a question. He put in a comment. Whatever you want to do, go, like Zaki's. give us a take. Yes, Zaki's perfect. We're going to get to that here in a second. Saints are Super Bowl bound. Abby, what do you think? You think they're headed to the Super Bowl? Can you hear me? Somebody said turn my volume up. Somebody Is said it good? turn. Okay. They say it was working earlier. Working just fine earlier. There you go with the hashtags. Okay. Um, all right. And then, so yeah. Saints, are they Super Bowl bound? I think that they could be. I think that the NFC is very weak, but I think that there's a lot of things that have to happen to this for the Saints to make it to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl bound. Guys, I, I'm never going to lie to you. I don't. I think 
Truly, it's too early to say because you don't know how Derek Carr is going to fit into this. Yeah. You, it could go really well or it could go really poorly. I don't want to say that they're, it's impossible for them to get there because we know damn, damn well that that is it's, not the it's case. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. I think I don't want to make an assumption right now just because I'm really not sure how Derek Carr fits in. I will say this. I think they will be better than they have been the past few years, and I will say that because people are excited, not just the fans, but the players. I haven't seen Michael Thomas – this amped up to play. Oh, he's in this years. is comeback season. I haven't seen this in years. Michael Thomas. He's so verbally Ooh. excited. And Derek Carr even said he didn't want to get off the phone. He, with he's him. like, I, I can't, I, I'm ready he's to roll. Ready to go now. I'm ready to run through a damn wall. And, and I think that makes a huge difference. So, yes, if he can stay physically healthy, awesome. But for him to mentally be so hungry and so ready to play, I think that's going to turn up kind of the. Um, the vibes. I think I think it'll be a very good season. I will say that. So Michael Balco, that fucking fraud, who's an idiot. I know this is an unpopular opinion. He literally just tweeted this out. But I think the Saints should trade running back Alvin Kamara. There's a plethora of talented running backs right now available in free agency. And he goes on to list a handful that we've already listed. Uh, thanks for watching our content, Balco. Um, you could easily dump his contract and legal situation while adding valuable draft capital. Dude, they literally just restructured his con. This is how you know Michael Balco doesn't pay attention to sports and how he's just an absolute moron. I'm going to – hold on. He – you would lose more money trading him now. Like, this is just proof that Balco is an idiot. Like, oh, my goodness. I'm going to quote to him and say yet another uh, – death. I'm going to go death, taxes, hor horrible takes from Balco. Give me a follow on Twitter. Also, give Abby a follow on Twitter. Give us both a follow on Twitter. Are the Saints Super Bowl? We're going to take some more questions here in just a second, but we want to give it, take a quick second to plug ourselves selfishly. Here's my Twitter and Instagram, at TraceGerard48. Please feel free to hit me up. I'm going to put my links in the chat, and then I'm going to put Abby's links as well in the chat. I'm also posting on TikTok every single day around the Saints, so feel free to hit me up. Feel free to interact with us. Uh, we love talking to all of the Houdat Nation. I'm going to put my Twitter links in the chat a couple times. And then if you want to follow Abby, here is her information. I, a fair warning. I do also cover the Titans, so don't get angry when you if you follow me to have Titans yeah, don't do that. pop up on Twitter. My TikTok, Saints. Yeah, Twitter is a mix of Saints and Titans. Don't be don't be lame. Don't Instagram don't be lame. Neither. We all have a job that we have to do. We all have a job that we have yeah. to do. So don't be lame. Hit us up. Help us out. Subscribe. Follow us on Twitter and all that fun stuff. Um, all, you know, let's just let's just let's just do this one. Let's just do this one. Who is your favorite all-time Saints player? Who's your favorite player of all time that has ever worn the black and gold? God, I can't get over how dumb Michael Balco is. I hate that guy. I want to fist fight him. Um, the Ravens nice. have looked into possibly signing free agent Baker Mayfield and Jacoby Brissett. Baker just signed with the Bex, or with the Bucks. Brissett just signed with the Commanders. Yeah, the Saints are going to rock the uh, NFC South. It's so bad. The NFC South is so bad. Archie Manning, Drew Brees. Okay, look. I'm going to be basic, and I really don't care. Mine is Drew Brees. I would ride or die for that man. Mm -hmm. I'm reading his book right now. I think he is not just a great quarterback. He is a great person mm -hmm. between his faith and the service he's done for New Orleans. He seriously gave that city so much hope after so much devastation. I love him. I think he's awesome. That is my hands-down favorite Saints player of all time. There's yeah. a lot of good ones. That is my favorite. I would agree. I mean, in, in terms of my lifetime that I got to watch when I was aware that football was an actual thing, Deuce McAllister was around at the tail end of his career whenever I was starting to watch football. But that being said, I didn't get to watch Deuce and appreciate who he was and the player that he was. So just out of respect, I'm not going to sit here and say he's my favorite player because I didn't get to watch him. I, I didn't get to watch him every day. So that's just a, that's just a personal thing for me. So – um, can we check my, can y'all hear me? Like I'm projecting. So I don't know if it's bit. me I'll just not speaking bit. loud enough or. That might've worked. I've seen a couple comments on how quiet I am. I'm not a quiet person and I'm not whispering. So let me know in the comments. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Okay. We're good. All right. Very I just turned her, I just turned her up. I just turned her up. Okay. That should be better. 
I just turned Thanks her up. Thanks for letting us know, y'all. Yeah, appreciate that. We're trying to deliver good content, so it's uh, it's on y'all to keep us accountable. So you know, it's on you guys. Um, I love Drew Brees. Marcus Colston is a yep. fucking animal. Um, Reggie Bush, great. Fun fact: Reggie Bush is so. Before I worked for the Saints, Saints fan. And my dad and I went to pretty much every game. Reggie Bush's suite was right behind, uh, like, our seats. And I remember being like, God, whenever they dated, my dad told me to turn around, and Kim Kardashian was sitting, like, five rows behind me. And I was like, who is that? No <laughs> clue. So I know funny. now, but, like, at the time, I had no clue. That's so uh, funny. Deuce McAllister, awesome. Deuce. Love him. The Deuce. I got to interview him. I think, what, I had to be 18? Yeah. He is the sweetest man. He's awesome. Deuce. Yeah. Uh, shout out Flutch or Flirty Existence. He spells it wrong, but Flirty Existence. He replied to my Balco tweet. So in that shot clock, by the way, we picked up five subscribers. So here's five sips. All right. That was quick. I just finished the beer, honestly. Sorry about it, guys. So in other news, this picture stretched. But you probably weren't going to be able to read it if it was smaller. So, sorry. Here's what Jameis Winston posted on Instagram today uh, and as to why he's coming back to the Saints. And I found this kind of interesting. He said why he came back. First, I love this city. In all my professional career, I've never felt so culturally in tune with the fan base. The Saints fans that I've met have been incredible. Y'all have made my, me and my family feel at home. That is why last season was so disappointing to me. I want to see this through or I want to see this uh, team and city succeed I know great things are ahead and hold on guys sorry ahead for this team and this city I was led here by the spirit and that's why I would never run away from this new challenge the things that led me here are still here a stable organization a championship caliber team and a great fan base this year's team like last year's team is built to win a Super Bowl let there be no doubt. I'm still a championship caliber starting quarterback in this league. However, getting healthy and staying healthy is my number one priority, and I've suffered three devastating injuries over the last two years. I need to want, I need to stay healthy to assist this team in, to, in getting to where we want to go. Most importantly, I need to stay healthy to get me where I want to go in my career. With that being said, I will serve and lead however I need to see this organization and city win. I'm proud to say for what, one more year at least, who dat? So it's exciting to see Jameis Winston show some love. I'm really excited, happy that he managed to do that. So, um, you know, shout out Jameis Winston. Showed a lot of love, was very gracious, was very respectful. Wasn't, you know, I, I mean, it, other than saying I'm still a championship caliber quarterback, I think that that's one of the few, that was like really the only thing I'm like, I don't know if you're winning a Super Bowl, Jameis, but I like Jameis a lot. I love Jameis. If you've watched this before, you know that. But I don't know if he's winning the Super Bowl. I think you have said this on a show. I think you mm -hmm. talked about it before. He is training to rehab. Yes. He is I, – I know the trainer he's working with. I actually <laughs> trained with that trainer. He also trains Jamar Chase. He's trained multiple MLB, NBA, NFL players. But he doesn't just train them. He recodes them. His science is uh, – newer but it works and it's all about rehabbing injuries and then doing the work to correct your body to prevent further injury so Jameis is probably in the best place to get healthy I know that's a big question he had a lot of injuries like he said three really bad injuries just over the past two years I think he's in a good place to get healthy and I don't doubt that he could get back to a level of play that you saw way back in the day. So he's, I'm here for it. I'm glad he's around for another year. I truly would rather him on the roster behind Derek Carr than Andy Dalton. That's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, good to good to know that he is just as happy to still be in New Orleans. Yeah, absolutely. And it's going to be fun. To, I, I honestly think that like a lot of people are, say, are sitting over here like complaining about Jameis Winston coming back on a very cheap deal. Like, He's your backup quarterback. Like it's not like you have to worry about him being, you know, your starter and doing something. You know, like you don't have to worry about him being pick six Winston. Like you don't you don't have to worry about that. It's it's one of those things where you can just, hey, he's a fun guy to have in the locker room. He's an exciting player to have, but I don't think that he is a player that you have to worry about in terms of being the reason you lose or win games. I mean, it, it's just 
he, he's a backup. So I like it. I like the culture fit. I like the piece in the locker room. So, And shout out to all of y'all who are typing S. We're trying to break the comment record. We're trying to get more people in here. So keep typing S. Rapid fire type S. Whoever types it the most will be labeled the MVP. So far, Pit Viper is our MVP. So who's going to be the MVP? Don't let me beat y'all. Who's going to be the MVP? <laughs> I'm having Abby's, a lot of fun. Abby's in there spamming it. <laughs> and when I say spam the S's, I, I, I want it like Abby. I want it to be looking like how Abby's putting it in there. Okay. Like, brrr, to like run up. it up. Run it up. Pit Viper right now is our common MVP. He, he has to be. He has to be. Uh, from Jeremy Fowler, worth noting, the Ravens who face uncertainty around Lamar Jackson's future haven't been involved in the free agent quarterback market. So we'll see what happens. Jerry Jones also spoke on Ezekiel Elliott, so that's interesting to see. But, guys... If you haven't already, please subscribe. Join our squad. Anytime anything happens, anytime the Saints make a move, anytime the Saints go and sign a player, go and trade for somebody, re-sign somebody, me or Abby are on top of it for you guys. If it ain't, and if it ain't on, and if, if you ain't getting the content from here, I promise you, it's not going to be nearly as good anywhere else. I, it, there's a lot of great Saints media. There's a lot of phenomenal space, Saints media, but I take pride and how we do things here at Saints Now by Chat Sports. We're fun, entertaining, informative. We like to have a good time, but we also like to make sure that we get you the content you deserve. So please subscribe, join our squad, help us out here. And, you know, if you haven't already, hit the sub. Like, why? It's free. It's free. Why wouldn't you? And then here's our super chat menu. I see a $5 super chat just came in. So I wanted to just remind anybody who feels gracious enough to donate. We appreciate all of those, or all of y'all who have already donated today. From Pretty Boy M, do you think MT will actually play this season or will it be another waste of money and time for the Saints? MT's playing. I think he's playing. And I made this bet with my roommate last night. I bet him, he said he's not playing more than four games. And I said, Bergen is in the chat. He was in the chat. And Bergen, if you're still in the chat, I dub, I'm doubling down on what I said. He's, he's playing at least eight games. I... I'm telling you right now, he will play eight games. At least. I'm not going to sit here and say, he's playing all 16 or all 17. No, no I'm not going to say that. Things happen. Injuries happen. People miss a game here and there. Extenuating circumstances are a thing. The dude is going to play at least eight games. I don't see a world where he doesn't. I mean, he's, there's no, there's no like underlying health issues. There's, no, there's nothing I that's like carrying on. If he doesn't play... Uh, at least half yeah. the season, his career could be in jeopardy because yes. he. There were a lot of talk uh, between other NFL teams on what is the value of Michael Thomas. Like, if he's not going to stay with the Saints, and this is before they figured everything out, but there was a lot of talk that Michael Thomas was not staying in New Orleans. So where was he going to go? And people were like, "I don't want him. Yeah, I don't want him. Yeah, he's too injured." So I think there's an incentive of. Dude, I have to play at least half this season to mm -hmm. prove to people that I still got it and I can maintain my health, yeah. as well as that extra push that he's excited to play with Derek Carr. I said this earlier. I'll say it again. That mental aspect of him being ready to prove himself, having a good quarterback to pair with, mm -hmm. he's excited. I agree with you, Trace. Yeah. I think he plays a lot more games this season mm -hmm. than you've seen in the past three years combined. Mm -hmm. He's on, he, And to your point, he's on a prove-it deal. Yeah. If he doesn't prove it, his NFL career could be in jeopardy. I, and I think he knows that. I think he is fully aware that this is the make or break time. He has to ball out and he has to make something happen. So we'll see how it pans out. I think he plays at least eight to ten games no matter what. But we'll see here what happens. So pretty boy M, thanks for the feedback. I hope the Saints at least have a winning record with the squad here. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, pretty boy Thank M. You. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for the super chats. I'm going to put on a couple things of beads for you because that's what we're doing for $5 Super Chats. So here's two sets of beads for two $5 Super Chats. So I know there are a bunch of questions in the chat. And again, if you use hashtag Saints, we can grab your question. But if you Super Chat, you'll get You're guaranteed. To the front. You're guaranteed. Yeah. You skip the, it's like the Fast Pass at Disney or at Six Flags or whatever. <laughs> you just one. get to skip the line. Yeah. You, ju you just get to get on the screen, and we get to talk about whatever you want to ask about. So You know what, Trace? What? Oh, shit. You still have we to slap me. Forgot I forgot. We forgot. You have to that slap I have me. To slap Trace. All right. Here's the thing Abby's going to slap me. Any super chat of any value that comes in is going to be a recovery drink. 
for everyone. And it's getting slapped, which is me. So help me out. Abby's going to smack the hell out of me. Make sure John Borelli. John Borelli, if you're still in the chat, let me know. John Borelli. Also, if this isn't a reason to subscribe, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. I'm, I'm updating the sub numbers right now. All right, here, I'll, I'll just take the headset off. I'll just take, I say, I can take the headset off if that's easier. John Borelli, are you in the chat? If you're in the chat, Borelli, let us know, because you paid for this, man. You paid for this. You pay, you're, you're, you're the one who, get, who deserves this more. Come on. And we all, Borelli, where are you at? Everyone type JB so we can get him back in here. Get JBs in the chat so we can summon John Borelli back into the stream. Because he's gone. I think he's gone. Let's go, Abby. Let's go. All right, everyone type A for Abby because she's about to smack the hell out of me. Type A for Abby if you want her to just rock my shit. JBs in the chat. JBs are rolling. The A's are starting to roll in, too. Okay, John, if you miss it, just rewind it. Yeah, JB, if you miss this, rewind it. And if it's an issue, I can DM it to you on Twitter. I got your at. We're all good. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sorry. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up here so you can hear it. We ran out of tortillas, so we're using a paper plate. Just... Next best thing. Okay. All right, you ready? Ooh, I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> Does that hurt? I mean, it didn't feel good. <laughs> It didn't feel great. That was really loud. I mean, the pop was there. I can't hear out of this ear. <laughs> I'm having trouble hearing out. I'm ringing on this side. Another $100 super chat. She's doing it. Another $100 and she's doing it. Abby's been hitting the gym. Yes. she. she last time she smacked me, Weak. it hurt. Um, excuse me, sir. I work out twice a day. Yeah, I was going to say, one thing Guaranteed, about that slap. I might be able to lift more than you, AFX. One thing. AFX, bro. <laughs> don't do that. Don't test Abby. Here's one thing. <laughs> here's the thing. A A AFX, you are in high school, and I'm going to tell, tell you this right now. Here's a piece of advice. Don't upset women. Just don't do it, because they'll smack the shit out of you. Just don't do it. Take my advice. Take my advice. Just don't make them mad, because that happens. If that happens, it's bad. I will say that slap didn't look as hard as it was because it, it was hurt. loud. Dude, I could like I'm I my ear was ringing for like a solid 10 15 seconds. We're good now. We're good now. I know I've met my mom before. Yeah, dude. If you don't love if you see my thing about moms, I I love my mother. My mom is the coolest person to ever walk this planet. But I she knows I'm deathly terrified of her, and that's how it should be. I love my mom, but I'm scared of her because she is she is the goat. She is the goat, and she's not afraid to uh, parent me, if you will. All right, so let's talk. I just saw uh, I saw a good question come in. That's not the first time she's done that. Zykees. It's not. It's not, unfortunately, and it won't be the last. <laughs> Zykees, who should the Saints target in the draft? I think draft, you go defensive tackle round one. I really like Kalijah Kansi. I love Kalijah it, it, um, Kalijah Kansi. I think he is... And phenomenal option out of Pitt. I think he'd be super fun. And the measurables compared to Aaron Donald, whenever he went through the draft process, are scarily similar. Similar. They are very scary to similar, which is worth noting. 18 tackles, 18 solo tackles last year, seven sacks, uh, 31 total tackles for Kalaja Kansi on the Pitt Panthers. So I like that as an option. I think it's an interesting one, and I would love to see the Saints go and get him. I think it would be a lot of fun to have him around one more reminder guys we have to log off here in about five minutes because we do need to open up the studio two more team or two more uh shows unfortunately so if you want to subscribe or if you want to help us out if you want to keep us around we got to get the super chats rolling like we got to get them rolling big time so if you want us to hang out we need some super chats but otherwise let's spend the last few minutes actually talking business so i will say this before we get started go. if you super chat we will be take a little bit more priority so yes <laughs> yes if you super chat we're going we to just go straight to yeah. you afx is matthew pd taking your it is is it matthew P, pd you're opening it for yes it is actually matthew peterson we're opening the studio for rehit for jb lol is john Borelli back oh he He's back. All right, Abby, I think you have to slap me one more time because he's back. Again? Did you miss it, John? John, did you miss the slap? 
John, it, did you miss the slap? It literally happened like five minutes ago, not even. If you miss the slap, oh no, we can't have that. We can't have that. All right, John, we're going to let you figure out or find the, find the slap. But here real quickly is the updated free agency tracker for the Saints, starting with Derek Carr, four-year, $150 million deal. Oh, 20 bucks. All right, John said, where's the slap? We, I mean, we have to. We have to. We have to do it. I, I, unfortunately, we have to do it. Come on, Houdat Nation from John. Hey, be like John. Be like today's co MVP, John Borelli. He is today's M NFL free agency MVP. So, John, she's going to smack me one more time, and then we're going to go through the tracker, get some more soups, and then get out of here. So, here we go. John, this one's for you. Number two. <laughs> and it, yeah, I mean, ow, you know, it's fine. Whenever I, I have friends go. ask me what I do for a living, I, I, I try you and explain it to them. By women? I try and explain it to them and they don't quite understand. Yeah, it, it doesn't really go well. All right, sign Darius Slayton and Ezekiel Elliott. I like the idea of going to get Darius Slayton. Yeah, I really like that idea, actually. Derek Carr signed. Juwan Johnson re-signed. Tano Passanio re-signed. JT Gray, your special teams ace, re-signed. And then on top of that, Jameis Winston will be back as your quarterback, too. Michael Thomas is back on a cheaper deal. $10 million, but up to $15 million with incentives. He would have made about $15.5 million this past year, or this the upcoming year. So, worth noting, he's playing for a little bit less money. Nathaniel or Nathan Shepard, excuse me, and Kalen Saunders are your two signings that the Saints have made today. We know Michael Thomas is not a DB. It's an error. Yes, okay. he's not a DB. It's because <laughs> it's because there's a Michael Thomas that plays on the Bengals, and it's just a system. The way it's the how the graphics, graphics got messed up. We all we know he's a wide receiver. We know he's a wide receiver. He could he could have the clamps like a DB if he wanted. Nathan Shepard, here's what he here's who he is. Here's his bio. Six foot four, three hundred fifteen pounds, out of Canada, thirty-three tackles, a sack and a half, four tackles for loss last year. And then Kalen Saunders, both are gonna be good rotational depth pieces for your defensive tackle spot. I think you still ought to go and address the defensive tackle position in the draft. But one final reminder. Please, please, please subscribe. Do not get out of this stream without subscribing because if you Get out of here without subscribing. That's fraudulent behavior, and that's only what Falcons fans do. We ain't Falcons fans here. If you hate the Falcons, if you hate the Panthers, if you think Drew Brees is better than Tom Brady, if you think that the Bucks are a bunch of frauds, subscribe. That, that's, that's my pitch. That's the pitch that I can give you. Subscribe if you hate all of the other teams in the NFC South, especially the Falcons. Those guys are a bunch of morons. Cajun restoration i'm subbed we're browns fans in here slapping trace is nothing new for abby yeah it, it is nothing new one more or one last chance to get in your super chats before we have to sign off here we're going to do a quick minute time super chat timer and then we got to get on out of here so any super chat gets on the show five dollars we'll put on some more beads ten dollars we'll take some shots twenty dollars Derek car bomb fifty dollars for a beer bong i'm not doing the bit Derek car bomb for john Borelli because I got smacked again, so that just be how it is. Uh, we do have to count down from 30 seconds. Unfortunately, we got to get out of here soon, open up the studios, unless we get some massive super chats. That could keep us around. That could keep us around, maybe. I could maybe make an argument for another 10 minutes, but who knows? Who knows? I, I don't want to make a promise. Don't want to make a promise. So let's get the 10, 9, 8, 7, seven 6, 6, 5. five. Four, three, two, one. John Borelli saying, Saints, hashtag Saints, Trizzy and Abby, y'all are always welcome at Raider Nation. I appreciate you, John Borelli. You're always welcome with the Hoodat Nation. All right. No more Super Chats came in. We got to open up the studio, and I'm not trying to get yelled at by the bosses. So I appreciate all of y'all for hanging out with us. I appreciate all of y'all for sticking around. Catching up on free agency. If anything notable happens, oh, J Rock just sent a five piece. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pop that up. We're gonna pop that up. We're gonna pop that up before we get out of here. We're gonna pop that up. I promise. J J Rock, is that like Trailer Park Boys J Rock? Because that's hilarious. What is the likelihood Jalen Carter drops to the Saints at twenty nine? I see, see it very unlikely. Despite him showing up a little out of shape, breathing heavy, 
underperforming a little bit at his pro day. And on top of all of this stuff that's going on off the field, I, I still think he's a top 20. I still think he's a top 20 guy. I mean, it, before all that happened, he was a top 5, top 10 guy. I think he's still a top 20. If he falls, go get him. Like, without thinking about it, you draft him without fail. I just think he goes in the top 20 because there's a lot of teams who need um, defensive line depth just like the Saints do. So, Houdat Nation, it's always a pleasure. I appreciate all of y'all for hanging out with us. Abby, thank you for sticking around and yeah. being a part of the show as well. Be sure to follow us both on Instagram and Twitter. I am at TraceGerard48. You can find her at Abigail Alonzo or at Abby underscore Alonzo on Twitter yeah. and on Instagram. Houdat Nation, y'all stay golden. It's always a pleasure. We'll catch you next time. Peace.